Welcome back. NBC5's president and owner Patsy Smolin has had the opportunity to interview multiple stars of the Today Show over the years. To commemorate the ongoing celebration of the Today Show's 70th anniversary, here's some of the best clips from those interviews. This is the second time I've interviewed Jane, and we were both surprised at how much time had slipped by since we last talked. Jane, when I last interviewed you, you were just leaving as anchor of the Today Show after 13 years, and you were so excited about getting some sleep. Now, it looks like you're working even more hours, and you never look tired. Oh, well, I get, uh, I get sleep. Um, I think my training on the Today Show uh, inspires me to go to bed early. And now I watch the Today Show, but it's with a cup of coffee in my pajamas. Life is better. But that's been a long time. You realize that's been 10 years. Yes, yeah. it's been a very long time. 1989. It's hard for me to believe that. Yeah. Part of being nice, like on an airplane or something, when people are constantly approaching you. Uh, I could give you the institutional answer and say no, it's always, but no, you get tired a little bit. I get tired. That's the whole yeah. point, and you want to sleep or something. I've had one day, this is a funny story, I think, because uh, I was, a, I was, a, I fake sleeping a lot. In other words, if you if you were, if you really want to be by yourself, you can either do one of two things: fake fake asleep or go in the john. And I've done both. You, know, you just sit there and lock yourself in the john at the airport for an hour, smoke your cigar, you know, and sit there and read the paper and relax. And uh, but one time I was really was asleep. I sleep on a plane beautifully. I mean, I can sleep. They say weathermen sleep well because they lie easily. <laughs> so. I was asleep, and I was sitting on the aisle, and I mean, I was asleep, lip hanging down, drool coming out of my mouth, and while I was sleeping, this arm shakes me, and I came up with my fist raised, at a, it was a priest, and he wanted me to plug some music program at his parish. <laughs> we'll get right to it. Your first awareness that today was interested in you. First awareness was when I got a, a, a call from Jeff Zucker's office saying that they wanted to meet me, and he pulled up in a, um, like, 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 not a minivan, um, what do you call those, uh, SUV, mm -hmm. with darkened windows, and he was sitting in the back seat, and I thought, ooh, this is like a spy movie or something, and I got in, and he, this was like uh, October, I guess October of 2005, and he said, we may be making some changes at the Today Show. Um, don't have to say yes or no, but we think you're terrific. Switching gears, the Today Show is continuing its, to celebrate its 70th anniversary. Throughout the years, NBC5's president and owner Patsy Smolin has interviewed several stars from the show. Take a look. Do any most embarrassing moments stand out? Well, probably when I sang with Buddy Love, the, the uh, cabaret singer, what did I sing? Love Boat with him. And uh, that was embarrassing. We did the karaoke. Now that you can do it, let's make a change now. Come on, baby, do the locomotion. Chug a chug a motion like a baby. I think you need the gone. Come on. Please go ahead. For some reason, I had this bizarre willingness to make a fool of myself on national television, and I think I should go to a therapist about it. <laughs> Your climb in this male-dominated industry, what are your reflections on that now, today in this world as opposed to 20 years ago? Oh, it's terribly different, terribly different. Although I don't think we sat in those days and, and, and said, uh, you know, um, why, aren't I, uh, why aren't I entitled to this or why aren't I doing that? I do remember that in my early days on the Today Show, um, the only way I could do a so-called hard news interview myself is if I got it out of the studio. Um, I did Henry Kissinger in those early days, Dean Rusk, um, because if I got the interview and I did it out of the studio, I, the woman, could do it. If I were in the studio, the host would automatically do it, the man. And I was not a co-host uh, almost until my last years on, on the Today Show. Today, all the women on the morning shows are automatically co-host. Well, our viewers love you. Well, thank you. We, we, we hope they will all, in Oregon, come down to the window. In fact, we'd like to invite you personally to come down. And what's the, the, uh, what, what would be a good regional dish that uh, would be prepared in Oregon? Oh, geez. Chocolate. 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 <laughs> Gee, and you know, we can't get that anywhere else. So come on down. Lots of pears. Pears. Lots of pears. 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 Isn't it, is, is, is Harry and David in mm -hmm. Oregon? Harry, now, okay, here you go. You want to get on TV, bring us fruit from Harry and David. There you go. Bring those pears. Those pears, baby. That's what we want. Pears and babies. In fact, bring babies and pears. 
bring two babies and pears, the pears and pears. See, that would be so fabulous. Al, thank you. Patsy, thank you very much.